Okay, this is a little video on how to format your worksheet that you're working on in Project 1. And I'm going to share my screen with you. Okay, so this is the uh, Linda Fox budget worksheet that you've been uh, working on, and now we need to format it. Um, you've got all the data in, you know that the uh, the numbers and formulas are all right. So now you've got to get in here and format it a little bit so it'll look better. Notice that uh, some of the cells seem truncated. Um, you can tell that you can't read everything that's in the cell. So that is a normal thing and when you get done you need to clean it up. So here's what uh, you should do. Uh, first of all I would format things like if um, this is supposed to be for instance, a certain style, if the title is supposed to be title style, you can go in there and change it. Some of these will have you change the style. Uh, some of them, it'll just have you go in and, uh, for instance, it'll have you go in and change the font or the uh, font size or the uh, style, bold, italic, something like that. So they'll have you work on the um, title and they'll have you work on the subtitle. Usually the subtitle is smaller than the title, but usually in these chapters they'll have you select, and all I'm doing is clicking in cell A1 and dragging through cell N1. They'll have you select those cells, that range of cells, and click Merge and Center. And what that does is that gets rid of uh, all those cells and all you have left is A1. You don't have a B1, C1, uh, they'll usually do the same thing with the uh, subtitle. So if they'll have you merge and center, and again, you'll just have an A2, not any, a B2 or C2, or et cetera. Okay, so um, that's one thing I wanted you to see. All the cell styles are listed right here uh, for, for your um, uh, column headings. Generally, they use one of these types of styles. And of course, if they use a style like this, you can see how large the text is. And so here's what you do. All you do is go up here to the A, drag through the N. I'm clicking right on the letter and drag right through the N. And then double click between any of these, like between B and C, double click. And you'll notice it will make the column just wide enough to to handle the longest thing in that column. So like this column, entertainment, in this column, maybe February. So uh, that's a quick way to do it. Of course, you can always drag these columns wider, but you don't want this extra white space. <clears throat> so the best thing to do is just to double click between the A and the B, for example, to, to get the A column to be auto fit. Okay, I'm kind of skipping around here. You can do the other ones like the expenses and the net and all that with the, with the um, styles. But let me show you this. Um, they want you to come in here on the first line of each one of these and change these to uh, a certain style. Uh, and you'll notice up here you have general showing, but you can tell it to be accounting style. And what it'll do is it'll put a dollar sign a comma, and a, uh, two decimal places. Well, let me just show you what this really does. Notice that the dollar sign, if your column was a little wider, you could tell that the dollar sign is right up against the left margin. Well, there's, not a, there's also a currency, and currency puts the dollar sign right beside the, the number. Well, in this chapter, they have you do accounting style, and uh, let me show you this as well while we're here. If you select and right click, you can go into format cells or you can go into this little dialog box lot you're here on the number group. And when you do pull that dialog box up, apparently mine, it's, there it comes, uh, you know, you're able to choose and you're able to tell, tell it how many decimal places, tell it how, if it has a dollar sign or not and decide if it has uh, black or red or parentheses are not for negative numbers. But anyway, um, just wanted you to see the difference between accounting and currency. So usually you'll do it for that, the first line and then the total line. So you'll, you'll just do, by the way, this is accounting style, this dollar, dollar sign here. And then they'll have you do the same thing on this one. 
Same thing on the total, same thing on the net. Okay, what they'll do is they'll leave the stuff in the middles and they'll tell you, okay, you need to um, turn on the same kind of formatting, like accounting formatting, but tell it no dollar sign. So that way everything will line up on the right. If I were to have chosen currency, see how they don't line up. So they need to be the same format. It's just uh, you're going to tell it, hey, I want it with no dollar sign on it. And that way they'll line up on the right. And you'll do the same thing here in the middle of this section. You'll tell it accounting style, no dollar sign. So that'll clean up some of the, the dollar sign problems you might have there. Um, and basically the rest of the formatting is pretty straightforward. You can't, uh, if you go to file print, you can't get it all on one page. So if you go to orientation here on page layout, you can make it landscape. If you go into the page dialog box, page setup dialog box launcher, you can fit it to one page. So whenever you get ready to print, you'll have uh, something that will fit on one page.